الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله إن حديث عبي سعيد الخضري رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من رأى منكم منكر في غيره بيده whoever sees a munkar can change it with his hand فإن لم يستطيع فبقلبه and if he's unable to do that وإن لم يستطيع فبلسانه and if he's unable to do that then with his with his tongue فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَبِقَلْبِهِ وَذَلَكَ عَدَوْفَ الْإِمَانِ And if he's unable to do that, then with his heart, and that's the weakest form of the faith. That's the weakest form of faith. رواه مسلم. And this is in uh, uh, Muslim. Sahih Muslim. In this hadith, the Habit of Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made clear, uh, clarified for us, which is Dalil and evidence that Iman has Maratib. Iman has different levels. There's different levels of faith. And there's different levels of Munkar, sinfulness. And different levels of prohibiting sinfulness. The Prophet ﷺ said the highest one is to change it physically if you're able to do so. And so that is built upon the harms and the benefits of doing so. And if you're unable to do that, then speak out against it. You know, advise the person or speak against it depending on the particular situation. Again, mabni ala maslaha wa mafsada. You have to look at the harms and the benefits in a situation based on al muthiq فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِيْهِ فَبِي قَلْبِهِ And then if you're not, you're unable to do that, then it's with the heart, which is the weakest form of iman, letting us know that hating it in your heart, detesting sinfulness is the weakest form because you should try to speak out against it or advise. But again, all of those issues depend on the harms and the benefit of the situation. If it's going to be a greater harm by doing so, then of course you would take the next level of prohibiting the munkar. And if it's going to be a greater benefit by doing so, then of course, then you apply that. And this requires fiqh wal ilm and may Allah grant us that ameen ya rabbil alameen also let us know as we mentioned there are different levels of iman and that iman also fluctuates because it has different levels and that it fluctuates yazid bi ta'a wa yunqus bi ma'asiyah that it Increases with obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and decreases with sinfulness. Walhamdulillah. Likewise, these levels of Iman, and may Allah increase our Iman and make it like a valley, like this vast place. Walhamdulillah. There are different levels of Iman and what we gain from this hadith, this hadith is dalil, it's evidence that also Iman is comprised of the three components that Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah believes in and is part of the minhaj of the Salaf al Salih. And that is that Iman is belief in the heart, actions or statements of the tongue and actions of the limbs. All of that comprises Iman in Islam. And that's why a person needs to practice what they preach and believe it. That comprises all Iman. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahli Iman and die as Ahli Iman. Bless our families, protect our families, preserve our families, guide our families to be from them. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.